Hello guys, welcome to a special report on Tropical Storm Matthew. Today is September 28th, 2016, and I will be showing you all of the latest information on this storm and its potential to become a hurricane. This is the 2 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center concerning Tropical Storm Matthew. Its current information has it as a tropical storm with sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, moving west at 20 miles per hour, and it has about 1,008 millibars of pressure. So it's a pretty high pressure still, but we'll have to see how that works. And it moves towards Jamaica, and then once it gets near Jamaica, it curves up, possibly close to a Category 3 hurricane. There are tropical storm warnings for the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles. And this is the 5 p.m. advisory that just came out 10 minutes ago from when I'm recording this. Not much has changed. It just has the track a little further east, so there are still a bunch of uncertainties with this. And there are, is also a tropical storm watch for the islands near Venezuela, but not Trinidad and Tobago. It could become a major hurricane right after this five-day period ends when it gets close to the southern Cuba coast. These next two pictures are images of model runs from last night. This first one is the Euro run 12Z yesterday, the 27th of September, and this has it close to the Miami, Florida area with 125 knot winds, which is a category 4 hurricane strength. So we'll definitely need to watch this and see if the Euro makes any adjustments in the upcoming days. And this next one is the GFS from last night, 18Z, which would be about 2 p.m. And it has it as 127 knots, which is two knots away from the Euro. And the only difference is it has it further east and coming into the North Carolina coast. So we'll have to see if it's consistent with that. Today it still has been. The Euro's been a little inconsistent with what they had recently. This image is the recon flight from the Hurricane Hunters and the max sustained wind speeds they have found in their recent flight to see whether to upgrade this to a Category 1 hurricane or not. And they did not. It's still a 60 mile per hour tropical storm, but they did find one point where the winds were 64 knots, which is hurricane strength. Yet most of the area was sustained at 60, so they left it as a tropical storm for right now. And this next image is a wider view. It has the satellite there. You can see there's no closed circulation. And it shows their flight path through it. And most of the winds are on the northern side of this. The closed circulation is towards the southern part where the storms are still developing. So that's why it's not strengthening as much as it is right now. This image is a collaboration map of all of the close range models so this is the next five to possibly seven days if you get up towards where the Bahamas are up northward that's seven days plus so in the next one to five days it's pretty consistent on moving westward just north of Venezuela most models make a little southern dip there actually and close to the coast of Venezuela and then it curves up sharply towards Jamaica this is the um, bigger scale models like mid-range not very long range mid-range and you can see they curve it some pretty close to Florida most of them cur curve it into Cuba or the western tip of Haiti and then into the Bahamas and this is where some storms show it becoming very strong if it doesn't go through the middle portion of Cuba where there are some pretty tall mountains and that should stay intact this is the long range models with the GFS collaborations and you can see it does that same curve and goes straight up and then it curves right before it gets to the Long Island area but some models do have it coming into the North Carolina Virginia coast and northward so we'll still have to watch this very closely to see if it does have any United States impacts it looks like at this point it will likely have Haiti and Cuba impacts so this next picture is the intensity guidance you can see one of them takes it to borderline category 5 and the other two there make it category 4 most of them make it between category 1 and 3 with most of the consistence consensus becoming category 3 
and that would be sometime around day five. So we will have to watch this very closely. And this last little loop coming up is the current satellite and infrared loop. So this is an infrared loop of the storm right now as it is entering and passing the Lesser Antilles Islands. Thank you guys for watching. Um, there will be more to come later. I might post another video tomorrow or in two days, so stay tuned. If you want daily um, updates regarding this storm and other national weather, you can follow my Instagram and Facebook at WeatherViewUSA, and another Facebook page is US Weather Central. See you guys later.